the quarter two review. This worksheet is a review of everything we have done so far. Questions one through nine are from the very first test. The very first test was called expressions and equations and it was on lessons A through C. So if you are struggling with one through nine, which is two, they are all two-step equations, find your review for expressions and equations A through C. Or you could look at the field and review, which is on Schoology. That would be my version. Okay, I am going to help you with number five in a moment, but um, right now just know that these are two-step equations and it's from the very first test we took. 10 through 23 is from the second test, the number systems test. All right, so if you are struggling with how to do 10 through 23, you want to find your review called the number system review for lessons one through three. Again, the review name is the number system review one through three. And that will help you complete questions 10 through 23. The last three questions are what we just finished up working on, which is the laws of exponents. So um, if, use anything from 4.1 to 4.4 to help you complete 24 through 26. So I'm going to go back to, to the first nine. First of all, again, these are all two-step equations, so pause your video and box each one of your variable terms with the sign in front. Again, pause the video, box your variable term with the sign in front. Okay, I'm going to do number five with you. So for number five, I've boxed my variable term, and the first thing I want to do is get rid of the number that's outside of the box. Remember, the ultimate goal is to isolate the variable, so I'm trying to get this D by itself. So I boxed my variable term. That means I don't touch it. Remember, it's like a, an electric fence. Don't touch it. The first step is to get rid of this number outside of the box. Since it's a positive 17, I'm going to subtract 17 from both sides. That allows me to cancel the 17s. And now when I bring down this fraction, I'm going to bring it down as 4 7 with the D beside it. It's the same thing. So bring it down as 4 7 with the D written beside it. And that is going to equal, well, 5 minus 17 is negative 12. This is a multiplication problem that contains a fraction. So to get rid of the fraction, we take the reciprocal. We're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 fourths. The fours cancel, the sevens cancel. So I'm going to have D equals and then you would put in your calculator negative 12 times 7 fourths. Uh, 4 goes into 12 3 times, 3 times 7 is 21. So this is going to be negative 21. You could put it in your calculator. I strongly suggest putting it in your calculator to make sure that you do the math correctly. And then when you're finished, remember we're going to check it. So to check this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 4 sevenths. I'm going to multiply it by our answer of negative 21, and then I'm going to add 17. So this is what I'm going to use to check my answer. Let me bring up the calculator. All right, so 4 sevenths times negative 21, and then plus... 17. I got 5, which is what that says on that side, so we are correct. So again, there's no reason to miss 1 through 9 because you can check your answer for each of these. Okay, so that is a video on how to complete 1 through 9. Now, 5, 8, and 9. Notice how 5, 8, and 9 have boxes around them. 5, 8, and 9 are all problems that are going to require you to take the reciprocal. 4 and 5 are not reciprocal problems. 4 and 5 are not reciprocal problems. This is division, and the opposite of division is multiplication. 
So again, this right here would be division, and the opposite of division is multiplication. All right, 5, 8, and 9 are reciprocal problems, but the rest are not. If you have any questions on how to complete 1 through 9, first look at that review, and then if you still need to have trouble, always feel free to contact me.